Hey friends, my name is Avery. Welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm gonna to show you how to apply warp stabilizer to a clip that also has speed adjustment. We've all been there. You have an epic B-roll montage that you shot in either 60 or 120 frames per second. You slow it down to like 40, 20%, whatever tickles your fancy. You want a little bit of stabilization on it, throw a warp stabilizer and then... Well, if this is you, it's a great thing you found this video. Go ahead and click the subscribe to get more help with all things video editing and growing your presence online. Now I'm gonna show you a few different workarounds based on your workflow and where you're at in your editing process. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so we've got a project pulled up here. The first example is gonna be down here in your project window. If you have it in list view, you'll see this little frame rate column. And what you can do is actually you click it and you see that that's uh, 60 frames per second. If we pull in this clip, you'll see that it does not match your current sequence settings. Obviously we have a 24 frames per second timeline or 23.976. So we'll go ahead and just keep existing settings and we'll bring this over. We don't need the audio. Um, and then it's obviously in 60 frames per second. It looks pretty weird in a timeline like this. And so normally what you would do if you're just editing you know, at least how I would typically do it is just go in here, pop it into like 40%. And then you have this nice, pretty smooth um, slow motion. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that because what you can actually do, this is the part that you would typically do ahead of time in preparation for your slow mo clips. Um, so what I would usually do is I'll create a separate uh, folder for all of my shots that I got in 60 or 120, um, whatever I want them to be. And you can actually, you can go in here and click or highlight multiples and you can do this all at once. Right click and we'll go up here to modify and we'll click interpret footage. And that'll bring up this big window where you can change all sorts of things about how Premiere basically interprets your footage. Um, so you can change some color stuff down there and then, but we're gonna be up here with the frame rate. And so you're going to assume that the frame rate is 23.9 seven six because that is what our timeline is so basically what this is going to do is it's going to take your footage and stretch it out to be exactly 23.976 and so you don't have to worry about you know 40 percent or 41 percent or whatever being the exact slowness to match your frame rate this is going to do it automatically for you uh, before you even drop it into your timeline so now this matches our timeline and we'll bring it in you see it's a little bit longer than before Get rid of the audio again because I don't want it. And then you'll see that that is just a perfect uh, smooth slow motion. Now interpreting your footage like this is not technically applying any speed effects. So what we can do is if we come over here to effects, and we'll type in warp stabilizer. You can drag this on and apply it no problem. You'll get zero error messages unless there's literally just something wrong with your Premiere. Um, and then it'll stabilize it. So we'll actually see here um, that now we get to apply that and it takes out that little bit of shake that we had in the beginning. Okay, so now I've got a quick sequence together. Um, let's say that you know, you're know you editing, you've already applied stabilization to a clip, but maybe it's in 60 frames per second and you haven't slowed it down yet, or you've already slowed it down and you haven't stabilized it yet. Um, so I'm gonna show you a quick workaround that you can do mid-edit, so that way you won't screw everything up. Now, obviously our first method was sort of more pre-production, so this is gonna be sort of in the um, middle of your edit. Okay, so here's just the quick clip. So pretty normal 24 frames per second, and then here's our 60 frames per second clip. And then, so we've already applied stabilization to this, so you can see it's pretty rock solid, unlike whatever's going down that drain. And then we want to go ahead and slow it down so we'll go over here let's just say like again 40 percent and uh oh uh warp stabilizer and speed can't be used on the same clip what's new uh, we already knew that obviously and so i'm just going to go ahead and click undo now how do you work around this one thing that you can actually do doesn't make any sense to me that this is a workaround but you right click you go up here and nest it now this is a nested sequence. So this is basically a sequence within a sequence. You can actually apply a speed effect to the sequence as a whole, and it's already stabilized inside the footage. So now we have our slow motion clip. We've kind of slowed it down, and then 
we also have stabilization on it. And that will set your endpoint as the same. Um, and it'll just kind of chop off your out point because you already have it clipped there. It won't expand it automatically like it normally would. Um, so if you had like a different type of um, clip, if you did it straight on it, it would just automatically do that and then kind of overwrite anything that you have there. But because you nest it, it doesn't actually move the nested sequence itself. It just kind of chops it off. So that's typically not gonna be a huge problem. All right, and that's pretty much it. So now you have two ways that you know how to apply both a time remapping or a speed effect along with warp stabilization uh, to a given clip in Premiere Pro. And so that way you can get that nice, juicy, smooth, slow motion B-roll. If you got something out of this video, consider giving me a big old thumbs up uh, and leave a comment below. Let me know what other editing issues you've been having that have you just about ready to throw your computer out the window. Um, also consider subscribing to the channel. As always, be well, and I'll see you in the next video.